vowed to create a housing environment where residents could experience a sense of belonging to a community. Thomas risked his financial situation in order to provide a safe and stable residence for homeless people with acute mental health problems, drug and alcohol dependencies, and those with special needs. This was just the beginning of the best group's mission to provide those with mental health issues who have been a long-term institutional care back into the community, presenting the hero as expression of the gratitude and esteem of the citizens of Detroit to Thomas Bessick in recognition of exceptional achievement, outstanding leadership, and dedication to improving the house of the quality of life. So then the two Earn Bank is a unique, unique national project that offers all the residents the chance to regain their self-confidence and self-esteem and return to society. Earn Bank provides a 24-hour supportive service at its main hospital for those who with special needs and require semi-independent living arrangements. Over the last 25 years, Fern Bank has helped over 300 residents, and its success is measured in the numbers of residents who have been able to return to independent living again. This standard of living is for all. Yes. Yeah. And if you can elevate yourself to, you know, be in a community and take part, take responsibility, mm -hmm. then you know, housing in that area can be for you. We can investigate just how much it would take to bring them back up and uh, what kind of investment it would be on behalf of you know, revitalization and remodeling of the infrastructures mm -hmm. to get it to a livable condition and to accommodate mm -hmm. the people we have in mind. And I think by coming here and fellowshipping mm -hmm. in the city of Detroit, we'll show them another kind of concern for the people who might be lying in our streets right now, mainly because a lot of our facilities for mentally and uh, disoriented people uh, were shut. They were shut down by the government, saying there was not enough money to federally fund them. So now we can take a, an organization and take uh, donations and take whatever the grants that are provided by our government and provide for the ones who can't who need help, who can't help themselves. All right. We have one place that I want us to look at. Uh, Southwest General Hospital, which it sits right off of Grand River, but I'm going to inquire about it just to see you know, whether it could be occupied or, or we could take advantage of or have such a home because it's a nice location. As a matter of fact, it's a hospital my father passed away in and it's been shut down. And I'm sure it could be used for units, two and three bedroom units, to uh, uh, help uh, the needy and the people that we have interest in caring for. Within that complex, he has provided facilities for a cafe and a restaurant to the general public by promoting local businesses to the area. He has proven again that people with chaotic lifestyles can be safely and securely integrated into the wider community without degenerating the area. He has developed strong working relationships with the police, probation, mental health and social services, all of whom refer, cl refer clients for accommodation. Thomas's philosophy is that nobody in the westernized world of civilization needs to be homeless. Everybody needs a chance in life. Homelessness is not a chosen lifestyle, but born out of necessity. We again come back to have discussions with Councillor Reeves about our ideas and if there's anything that we could work with herself and yourselves as the council people to develop for your people, to develop for the needs of your people within your city. We had further discussions and we've tried to work whenever I've met and I've seen her to develop ideas and look at the needs of different people in your, in your country as in ours and try to see if there's some common ground where we could get together and actually do something positive. This is very important and uh, we're looking for spaces here in the city so that we might develop a home. And the house in Cleveland is absolutely fabulous. And there are pictures in, in our uh, presentation. This doesn't have to be where authorities have to spend massive amounts of money. What the authority in England likes so much about our services, it, it was a way that, again, using good people within the community that understood the needs of care and supporting people in their housing, rather than needing nurses and doctors to run these facilities. It was a lot cost effective. So it saved our community in England lots of money and again gave back to the community because some of these people now work within the community in their own business because they've been given that support and that stability to